The darkest, the darkest YouTube live streaming iceberg. Okay. Get all cozy and warm. What a fucking Jeez, oh my god. Oh my god, that's a crazy. <laughs> Nigga, that is a crazy way to start a video off. Damn, okay. All right. I don't see a Yo. Or what the Someone shot again right now and connected with the house upstairs. You're asking for my money, but I pulled together to save my life. I will see you guys uh, either tomorrow or the next Damn, day. RP this dude. I know. I think he killed himself or something in GTA. Low tier guy, I gotta hey guys, be here. Welcome to the video. Today we'll be delving into the chilling depths of the darkest live streaming iceberg. For those of you who may be new to the concept of an iceberg, I'll provide a brief overview to show you how this will unfold going forward. In essence, iceberg videos present tier lists that begin at the pinnacle, often referred to as the sky, Is the and audio progressively good? descend into the enigmatic depths below the surface. Starting out on this journey, we'll embark with more light-hearted moments and slowly but surely venture down into That's the spine-chilling and almost downright horrifying moments that happen on livestream, all the way to the dark abyss of the iceberg. Before we okay. proceed as well, I would like to give acknowledgement to Tube, whose Iceberg's videos actually inspired me to start my own. So thank you, Tube. I'll give I'm a link to his ones down below in the channel. The Using his formula, you, I've managed to curate my own intriguing tier list based around Icebergs. So let's brace ourselves for the unexpected and delve deeper into the darkest live streaming moments Iceberg. Type chat. The Sky. Streamer saves girl from stalker. On February 10th, 2020, IRL Twitch streamer Rob CD was live in Japan, hanging out by a kebab store, when he noticed a girl clearly in distress. A man was w. also in close pursuit behind her. She quickly w, noticed Rob, approached him, and claimed, here is my friend. Rob responded nah, quickly, nigga, seeming to understand the situation unfolding before him. After a slight awkward Damn. conversation back and forth I know between... If I could... Damn, I'm gonna have to be really on fucking guard to f see some shit like this. You're gonna be the one? Okay. Rob and the Japanese man, he quickly gave up and left the area. You're welcome. Thank you so much. I'm very afraid of you, Japan. Are you? Are you in danger? Yes, pretty danger. Really? The girl thanked Rob, and you could visibly see how grateful she was to be rid of the stalker, earning him the title, the Angel of Shibuya. W's. PewDiePie Bridge Incidents. <laughs> September t <gasps> What a fucking 10th, 2017. PewDiePie is a highly popular Swedish gaming and reaction content creator known by his real name, Felix Schell. Like like on his that, YouTube right, yeah, you gaming know. live stream, what Felix was playing Nigerian Player person? Unknown Battlegrounds or PUBG for short. A battle like, If I'm being 100, he looked like he would say the hard R, bro, off, stream, off like cam or some shit. PL, last man standing game, popular at the time in 2017. After PewDiePie's teammate was shot down on a bridge yes. in game and subsequently <laughs> killed, PewDiePie responded with. What a fucking. <laughs> Jeez, oh my god, what the f? <laughs> Sorry, but what the f? Which was then followed by an awkward follow up with the streamer panicking and stating, I didn't mean that in a bad way. <laughs> Nigga, how the fuck you don't mean that in a bad way? You basically, yo, there's no way you can't mean that in a bad way. You basically were calling bad people bad people. Bro. That's the way he just said it. That's crazy. That nigga just let that shit rip. He didn't, he, he let that shit fly instantly. That's crazy. This was only weeks after facing racism claims for displaying Nazi imagery. Twitch ambassador abusing power. May 16th, 2020. Twitch I mean, safety I say the hard and advisory R, council hey, member Ferociously Steph live streamed herself stating that all video game voice chats should be taken away, which sparked controversy Why? and outrage across gaming forums. The, the only way to have a level playing field at the highest level of oh. play is, is, is to not have voice chat, to not have people give up their linguistic profiles. She wants to ban voice chat from competitive games because she is arguing that it creates an uneven playing yeah, field for marginalized voice? people. Shit, okay, I mean, okay. I, I have to be honest. That is, that is objectively up. and equivocally stupid. <laughs> she then went live on May 17th and made the following statement. I'm not going anywhere, Steph said. I have power. They can't take it away from me. 
And honestly, there are some people that should be afraid of me. The and fuck? they are. Because I represent moderation and diversity. And I'm going to come for hurtful, harmful people. Ferociously, Steph also featured many streams of herself having an orgasm, which she referred to as a deergasm. <laughs> also claiming she consumed grass. She was removed from the Twitch Ambassador Council shortly after these events. What the fuck be watching these niggas? Yo, how do these niggas got viewers? I, I, I be so confused sometimes. Who be watching these niggas? <laughs> Yo. I'm gonna find the clips right quick. Don't send me that shit. Do not send me that shit, bro. Come on, gang. Do not send me that shit. Oh my god. It's crazy. Twitch leak. Everybody deserves viewers, but uh, how the fuck An are you watching niggas just have trip. orgasm like that on the stream? I can't be talking. Yeah. Claims to have exposed the entirety of Twitch, laying bare its source code and Yo, sensitive no, user Those parkers and don't make a little people. The hacker disseminated <laughs> a torrent link of colossal size, approximately what? 125 gigabytes, justifying yeah, the leak as a means to foster more oh, disruption. Oh, just when the payouts got leaked. I remember competition this. competition in the online video streaming space, we stating guys their on community <laughs> is a disgusting, toxic yeah. cesspool. The files mentioned on 4chan are indeed accessible for download as indicated. Shit, lucky my shit ain't get leaked. <laughs> Ooh, lucky my shit ain't get leaked, man. Yo, 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 someone sent me costing that uh, number of uh, how much he making. I just need to see. Like, someone had the database one more time. Just one, more, one more time, one more time, one more time. Just don't put me in my shit, man. Would have been like $3? Okay. Remarkably, the leak data has been verified as authentic encompassing the valuable source code of the streaming platform owned by Amazon. They reassured their community that their teams are working feverently to ascertain the full scope of the incident and promise to provide updates promptly. Narcisa Wright, March 21st, 2022. Twitch streamer and YouTuber Narcissa Wright was like banned for an NSFW link given to her by a member of her chat in which she opened on stream unaware of the contents. Shortly after her suspension from the platform, Narcissa went to Twitter and tweeted out, I want to kill myself and shoot the people at the Twitch headquarters. Ha 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 ha. The hell? Which was further followed up by more tweets threatening both self-harm and harm to anyone working at Twitch. Narcissa <laughs> then went on to state she... <laughs> Nigga crashed out over a fucking ban. Oh my God. How you crash out like that? Like what? What the fuck? Yo, nigga went on Twitter and just crashed. I think it said, fuck it. Never had any malicious intent if it was, towards this was 22 Twitch. And dude, they'd and be kick, kick. They would go to kick and, and be an Anaraz wannabe. Yeah, I don't think no one give a fuck if it was 2023. Let's be honest. Like, if someone tweet like this, no one gives a fuck. That's normal now, I guess. I don't think no one would care. But it's just, uh, she like, bro, I ain't gonna lie. This person like they mean it, bro. So, <laughs> hey, man. This person gonna look like they mean it, so. Even added that it was the platform's fault for not reaching out to her. Just two weeks later, Twitch made the decision to reduce her ban from permanent to just 22 That's days after apologizing in an appeal following her statements on Twitter. The tip of the iceberg. The tip Live chat. stream of fakes disability. April 5th, 2020. Oh, yeah, we've seen this. When you got Angel up on the road trip, attention and relied fake with the shit. Right, that's great. Rage across. Ability. Should have since re streamer fakes cancer. January 2021. Cancer? Core, or known better by her Twitch handle, Miss Dirty Bird, was fast becoming a well known live streamer, primarily playing Rocket League. In January. Bro, we gotta hop on Rocket League, Valorant, uh, Overwatch. I gotta become a gamer for a cot. I gotta become a real gamer, bro. I'm finna get my gamer shit. No? Ah. Uh of 2021 uh, she would go live to announce Rocket she had just been diagnosed with brain and lung cancer that's okay it's right now i don't see a reason for trying or for talking or for breathing l actor prompting a flood of support do and donations from her online community Core's own sister caught wind of these claims and took to stream stating i wanted to address my sister's stream today her having cancer. She hasn't said anything to any of us, prompting Craw to admit to her lies, revealing she faked cancer. 
To add insult to injury, Core's apology video was discovered to be a word-for-word -word template of the movie Cyberbully. That video has since been removed. You can't be serious. The Creature. 2015. Let's see a acting. Chance let's, Morris. Let's see a fake acting of you saying you have a disability. You think I'm really like, nigga, you trying to set me up, nigga. Set the fuck up. Better known as Soda Poppin' by his fans, has been a colossal Soda streaming titan for Twitch since its small beginnings. But not everything this has been, been smooth shit for a minute. Back in 2015, Soda told a harrowing tale of a time a fan drove 18 hours uninvited to his house, who he nicknamed. Don't do that to me. <laughs> boy, boy, do not do that with me. You ass, your ass will get popped. Hey, I'm just saying it, bro, nigga. Do not do. Do not do that shit to do not do that shit to no black streamers. Your your ass is getting killed. Hey man. I'ma pull up. Gang, you better say your fucking Twitch name immediately. I don't know. You're a sieve, what you gonna do? Open open my house and be in my house. See what happens. Man. The creature. The fan, who we now know by his online username of Deffy, the e invited himself into Soda's home says, so you're assuming he black people Soda would go on to now. state in an interview with his brother. Random people yes. started showing up, and one of them showed up. He drove 18 hours to the house. Um, he's walked in the door. He's like, hey, man, I drove so long. I was like, oh, cool. Hey, let me take you to... I took him to Chili's, just me and him. And he seemed somewhat normal, seemed fine. A little weird, but... So he just let a random nigga walk in his door, and he took him to Chili's? Uh, yo, he's a real good guy for doing that shit. That, like, that's some. I don't know if that's good or ignorant. Yo, we can't six followers while I was asleep. Thank you to all the new followers, bro. If I'm if I can't tear house, can I get a free meal? Nah, if you actually came and I knew it was actually you or some shit, I'll we probably hang out or some shit. But if you just came in my house, just walked in, you, and I'm not there to like stop something, you might. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you feel me? But. I dealt with it. It's fine. Um, I came back in. and I so felt yeah, bad. I was like, that. listen, you drove so long. Let him stay in the room. And this went on for a long time. And eventually, you know, the next day came by and he's like, I'm too tired. I want to drive. That's fine. All right, whatever. One more day. I'm streaming. Do your thing. Nick had enough. Nick's left. It's like, listen, I'm not staying in the house with this weirdo. No offense. Soda Poppin described the situation where he and the other tenants were unable to confront Deffy to ask him to vacate the premises. I need to kick this mother out mm -hmm. but I, I don't have the balls to do it so nick's ex had to come in and basically the police were almost getting brought in wait you're telling me that you and nick were too scared to do it so you got a, a girl to do yeah it. girl yeah. that's awesome. what but she did it chance went on to say what that deffy would cry and talk about how girls hated him and they didn't understand what it was like living what with you think a life of an offline chatter is shit nigga i'm an offline chatter so my life uh, i'm an offline chatter i'll be chatting in people chats so my life, man. Ha. ADHD. And trying to get him to take his medication. When he was You're finally removed from the house, chatter? he left Bye. behind what he referred to as a present, which turned out to be a huge stash of drugs. Animal abuse. 2019. Natalia Mongolan, aka oh, yeah, Alinity, is screen. a well-known just chatting streamer. This. Back in 2019, Alinity came under fire for animal abuse while live on Twitch. Oh, Clips know. of her started to surface when she decided to pour vodka into her mouth and proceeded to bait the cat into licking her. This bitch is crazy. Now shooting. September 11th, oh 2018. Herschel Guy Beam, better known as Dr. Disrespect, or The Doc for short, is a world-renowned American video game live streamer. Doc is no stranger to weird things happening on stream and has had his fair share of controversies in the past. But on September 11th, 2018, The Doc would go live playing Warzone, only to be interrupted by a noise heard faintly on stream, disappearing quickly off camera. Look at the turquoise I sent DMs. Who what would you look like if you black or Chinese? What the fuck is this? Go to book, bro. I don't have nothing in my bookmarks, bro. Y'all really want to see my bookmarks? Y'all, y'all really want to? You really want to? You really want to see my bookmarks? Okay, I got you. It's not shit in here, bro. It's not shit in here, bro.
The doc came back to the stream and had this to say. Ladies and gentlemen, I gotta fucking end the, uh, I gotta end the broadcast right now. Someone shot at our house, broke the fucking upstairs window. This is the second shot someone shot yesterday at our, someone shot yesterday at our fucking house. And someone shot again right now and connected with the house upstairs, right? You're driving by, right? You fuck, you pussy. Seeming understandably distressed, he quickly ended the live stream, bro, prompting the attack. Bro. Thankfully, no one was injured, and the authorities later confirmed weird. it was a BB gun. Da E2 underscore says, so you walk in a room, one condom, three girls, Ruby Rose, Valkyrie, and Ice Spice what you choose, Ice spice? and you can't go raw on any other women. Ice Spice? The fuck? The fuck, nigga? I what kind of nigga? Ice Spice. I did them from a local. I don't you know who Valkyrie is. Airplane bomb threat, April twenty seventh, twenty seventeen. Paul Danino, aka Ice Poseidon, was primarily an in real life Twitch streamer, or IRL for short, on Twitch. Really? Yeah, I there don't have know. been many that? altercations involving swattings, suicide filming, as well as racism and scamming claims around this content creator in particular. But none of those come even remotely I close. Sleeping. I just woke up, man. What's up, Ash? To the time. Twitter media. Fuck away. Why her Twitter look like? Why does she look like Instagram? How'd she get her shit like this? What the fuck? How'd she do that? Time Ice was streaming in an airport, preparing to head from LA back to Austin, Texas. Ice would go on to leak his flight tickets, his gate number, and even the airport itself prompting him to state, I don't want to get on this flight. And he was right. As soon as they boarded, the police swarmed the airplane, taking him into custody. A viewer of his stream had decided to call local authorities claiming that ICE was carrying a bomb. This gained media attention around America. Damn, it was one of the major factors to putting Twitch into mainstream media and streaming in general. If only it was in a brighter light. Twitch promptly responded, banning ICE permanently. Twitch used to be a such a L website. He has since appealed, but has been rejected. He currently streams on YouTube and Kick. That's why I don't fuck with the Pog Champ community weirdos, bro. I don't understand some niggas, bro. Twitch used to be such weirder, bro. I used to be on Twitch like a lot, like around like I started watching Twitch live 2015, 2016, bro. Bro, niggas, niggas used to be way weirder than now. They like calm down. They they grew, all grew up, but niggas used to be way weird on this website. I swear. I swear, bro. Live robberies. January 1st, 2015. Mr. Underscore 13 IG or Mr. Big had an unexpected visit from the police while live streaming on Twitch <laughs> due to a noise complaint from a neighbor in the same apartment complex. The situation took a turn for the worst. I feel like WL. I don't know what. I think I am WL community. What community am I in? What community am I in? WL or Pog or what else? Is there any other? Yes, I'm WL, but yeah. I feel like WL uh, community is more like better than Poggers and most shit, but Poggers has got more like in depth in Twitch and shit. You have Phantom Casa, not your rates and your tags. Yeah, 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 facts. You're right. You're a thug streamer. Okay. When the streamer got into a heated argument with the officer at his front door, when the police officer arrived at Mr. Big's door, he requested his name for a background check. Unfortunately, a passerby began taking pictures, further escalating the situation. This led to Mr. Big being taken into the hallway and subsequently being arrested. Unbelievably, no one locked the door on their way out, leaving the apartment completely vulnerable. Oh. Around 10 minutes later, the same individual who took the pictures returned to rob the place, making oh, wow. off with a headset, some shoes, a wallet, and a phone. The thief managed to enter the apartment twice before an officer returned to secure the door. Thankfully, the thief's entire actions were caught on live stream, leading Yo. to his swift capture and incarceration. As a 26, result, all, right, all of the stolen belongings were recovered and returned to the streamer. 
Streamer burns down house. September 27th. What the fuck? 2015. Yushiro, a Japanese live streamer known online as Dasuke, How? was a Minecraft content I've creator back in 2015. Everything was normal on stream for Yushiro until Niggas he decided. Sick on stream is crazy. To show his chat room his brand new oil match lighter. Yushiro was then observed igniting a match and placing it behind him while he attended to another small fire he had accidentally created. It seemed that the match accidentally landed in a bag of tissues, causing them to catch fire rapidly. Later, stupid? he attempted to put out the growing flames by dousing them with water, hitting them with a cardboard box, and using a blanket to Is this nigga stupid? desperately trying to smother the flames. Unfortunately, none of these efforts were successful as the fire continued to spread uncontrollably climbing up the walls of his house and filling the room with a thick smoke. His viewers watched on in horror as the flames continued to grow inside the small apartment. His chat desperately tried- Why not rate this edit? Or edit? The edit you did of me? This edit? Yeah. Harder go ride for me. Go and be down for me. Fuck with it. I to warn him with donation text to speech messages. Bro, Yushiro, bad, Yushiro, Virus behind, thing. behind. Call 119, Yushiro. Yushiro, as well as his 73 year old mother, 68 year old father, and a 62 year old relative, sustained injuries. And to this day, there is no information about how serious said injuries were. Damn. Bottom of the iceberg. The Fly in Stalker. June 7th, 2022. Caitlin Siragusa, more widely referred to as Amaranth, is w a Twitch MRF. live streamer, cosplayer, and MRF. OnlyFans model. Primarily, her content revolves around Autonomous Sensory Meridian Response, or ASMR for short. It's sadly not unusual for female content creators to have a few stalkers, and it seems to be the price of online fame nowadays. Amaranth shared a distressing incident involving a man who traveled all the way from Estonia to allegedly break into her home. She expressed her fear for her safety as the men had been spotted I mean, wandering around her neighborhood stalker. and streaming like on Twitch under to? the name Kind Caitlin and Make Her Smile. Amaranth later provided more information about the stalker, revealing that he was arrested and detained by law enforcement. According to her, the individual sold everything he had in Europe and embarked on a desperate and self-destructive journey to Houston, Texas, where she resides. He even camped out near her P.O. box at a Starbucks for over a month. This individual went to extreme lengths to pursue Amaranth, selling his house, car, and even giving up his beloved cat. He recorded videos publicly and privately, almost like a manifesto of sorts documenting his actions and feelings. Whenever Amaranth declined his request to meet, the man would allegedly respond with aggressive statements like, liar, liar, fiance. On June 13th, after fuck? he attempted to gain entry to her home and spent over 30 minutes lurking around, she called 911. Unfortunately, she experienced a delay of 33 minutes before first responders arrived, and she was disappointed by the lack of urgency displayed by law enforcement itself. In response to the dangerous situation, the streamer yeah, decided to hits. hire armed protection to ensure her safety and well-being. This wasn't the end for Amram's stalker troubles though, as the man again in February 27, 2023, attempted to enter her house multiple times as caught on camera and left her a creepy package and a key. Amaranth never disclosed what was in the box or the purpose of the key. The British scammer. September the slip back. 2022. What's the slip back? Abraham Mohammed, also known on Twitch as It's Slicker, was primarily a Counter Strike and like reaction live streamer. Fuck. Slicker recently confessed to taking a substantial amount of money, surpassing $200,000 from his fans and followers, to sustain a developing gambling addiction. Oh, the streamer's web of dishonesty. This a nigga. This a nigga who scams his viewers or some shit and deceit eventually unraveled when individuals who were owed money started sharing their experiences on social media. Mikul P uploaded a video in which It's Slicker can be seen requesting money from him. Slicker mentioned being unable to access his bank account and sought assistance from his followers, 
assuring them of repayment within a few months. Shortly after the video surfaced, it caught the attention of Reddit users. Chat, shit, hey, hey man, yo, give me, give me a thousand dollars. I'll hit y'all, I got y'all next week, bro. Hey, bro, thousand dollars, bro. I got y'all next week, bro. I got y'all, bro. Don't worry, bro. Listen. Yes, y'all niggas. I'm broke, I don't got money. Tight shit. Among the worst affected by his lies, he even took money from teenagers and even a cancer patient. You were my friend, bro. And before I was going for my transplant, knowing you're not going to pay me, you're asking for my money that I put together to save my life. Why, you ask? To fund an ongoing gambling addiction based around sports betting. Yo, this nigga's an asshole. spend all his money and then send videos to friends and fans asking for more. This Even myself ass. was sent a video by Slicker asking for thousands of dollars, in which I replied with a bank statement with $12 in it. The money was later returned to everyone who was affected under the planning of Mizkif, Ludwig, and one of Mizkif's head mods, Check Wajido. Them. Wajido led the charge in finding out how much Yo. was owed and to who... What, what is this? I don't know how to do that. Nigga flying. I don't know how to do that shit. They can auto fly. Who the rifle owns the it belonged to. Money dares gone wrong. Right. February 15th, 2023. Aiden Ross, a well-known former Twitch streamer, gained fame by playing NBA 2K with Bronny James, the son of LeBron Yo, James. New 2K Regardless era, of bro. which part of the internet you come from, you've probably heard about Aiden's controversies, from his conflicts with Andrew Tate to his outrageous pranks and stunts on stream. But one particular prank would put Aiden in hot water. In bro, you February, seen niggas getting drafted in a 2K league? Did y'all see that shit on TikTok? Bro, niggas are getting drafted on that shit, bro. Hold on real quick. Bro, I swear niggas is getting dropped into a 2K lead, but look. To announce the first overall pick of the 2024 NBA 2K League draft, a legend from the Washington Wizards, please welcome Drew Gooden. NBA 2K League, it's Drew Good and former Washington Wizards. Ashraf from Zorro with the says number one overall like pick. Come on, do the cha cha shorty Spanish so she like to call me, Papa True Fact. Everything I do, they call it, Flock. All what they the do is copy me. I call them, Walker. Oh, the let's do it. She. The fuck? Am I tweaking? Yo, what the fuck was that? Who just said. <laughs> Yo, who just said that shit? What the fuck? In the 2024 NBA 2K League Draft, me? the Wizards no. District Gaming select Benzo, point guard out of New Jersey. On behalf of the entire Monumental Sports family, welcome to the district. Nigga is really getting drafted into a 2K, a 2K League. This is what Red wants to do with his football league. This is what he want to feel. This is what this nigga wants to feel. This is Red. Gee, Dirk, we all saw this coming. Why was he the go-to guy? I, I mean, for everything that we broke down, I mean, if you have notification... Bro, I'm not pulling up to a 2K lead with a suit on, bro. That's me personally, bro. You seen me with some joggers, bro. And his stream by calling random fans Nigga and Hudson, challenging that them. Nigga, making millions. I mean, they are getting paid, though. They are getting paid, so shit. But it's just crazy how they acting like it's a real shit, but Acting like it's a real, like, lead. Complete dares for ten to $20,000 on camera. These pranks range from asking someone to destroy their parents' TV in front of them to pouring a pot of urine on their sister. Oh, Fans wow. eagerly Ew. participated, enticed by the life-changing money and the thrill of being watched by thousands of viewers. However, the this fuck? caused a massive uproar as Aiden was seen abusing his power to harm others, even asking fans to squeeze lemon juice and pepper spray into their eyes. The situation reached its melting point. This nigga, and it's not real, bro. Like, what the fuck did he be doing? <laughs> this nigga is so fucking slow. What did he be doing on stream sometimes, bro? What did he do? This nigga just, he was asking his viewers to do crazy shit. I don't know. Aiden discovered that one of his viewers had a brother who was a Hasanabi fan. Aiden offered money to this viewer to slit his own brother's throat. It what? remains unclear whether Aiden meant this as a sick joke or if it was serious. 
but given the history of others doing extreme things for money on his stream, it's a horrifying thought to consider what could have happened. The yo, Ludwig. Nigga, yo, this nigga, this nigga eighty is just bro. Oh my god, this nigga just. But I'm not. But I'm not just such a big subathon incident. August 29th, 2022. Ludwig, Ludwig Anders Bargren is Isn't a it? massive name in the live streaming world. W. Ludwig. Starting out on Twitch, where he would stream games, challenges, reactions, and his most notable achievement, Ludwig's Subathon. If you're unaware of what a subathon is, it's a stream where a timer is present, and every time someone subs or gives a sub, it adds more time, meaning the stream cannot end until people stop subbing or the timer elapses. This okay. even includes sleeping on stream. During the course of Ludwig's Subathon, viewers would call the police over- He streamed for a month or something? Oh. I seen people stream longer than that, low key. Three times, causing SWAT teams to come to their residence fully armed, smashing down doors, damaging the property, and arresting the household, prompting Ludwig's partner Cutie Cinderella to have to end his streams. Cutie Cinderella disclosed that during the subathon, their house was swatted and they had guns pointed at them. She found it challenging to sleep while her boyfriend streamed 24 7. Cutie Cinderella revealed that she would stay awake while Ludwig was live during the subathons and would only rest for a few hours in the morning when he was awake. However, on Easter morning, day 27 of the subathon, she decided to take some rest and ended up waking up to find police outside their house once again. This led to her temporarily stopping Ludwig's subathon stream. At the time, Cutie Cinderella apologized for accidentally stopping the stream without mentioning the swatting incident as to not draw attention, possibly empowering others to join in on the prank. Cutie even recently stated that she had a sniper rifle pointed at her chest. Cutie now has PTSD from cars and helicopters due to these events. Swatting is no Damn. joke, and you are putting people's Change lives in danger every time you call the police to someone's residence. Yeah, nah, without swatting, cause. swatting. She recently is not spoke a joke. out about the situation in an interview with Anthony Padilla, which I'll link down below for anyone who wants to check that one out. Wanted to quickly jump in so again with the disclaimer so that now weird. we are at the bottom of the list. These topics and events are extremely dark and may be upsetting to some viewers. Topics include mention of suicide, shootings, and murders that have happened on live streams. The uh, Abyss. Yeah. Wreckful's death, July 2nd, R. R. This 2020. Dude, Byron Daniel Bernstein, better known by his online name Wreckful, was a prominent figure on Twitch since the beginning of the platform itself. Wreckful gained popularity through his World of Warcraft streams and Hearthstone streams. But in recent times, he had been working on his own video game, Everland, with plans to release for later in the year. However, early Thursday morning, Bernstein raised concerns with a series of tweets in which one of the tweets he seemingly proposed to his ex-girlfriend, Becca Cho. Shortly after, he posted another tweet expressing remorse, stating, I feel bad for anyone who has to deal with my insanity, and asking his followers to understand that in such situations, the person experiencing the turmoil doesn't feel in control of their actions. His other ex-partner, Blue Goes Moo, shortly after tweeted out the following, I'm at a loss right now. Something I've been scared of happening for so long happened. I can't stop crying. It's so painful. Please know. Wabbit. Following her previous tweet with, Someone I love killed themselves. I wish I could have said something to prevent it. Why? Later, confirming that Wreckful had indeed taken his own life. Reports had stated that he had stepped off of his balcony in his apartment complex. Wreckful had been undergoing long-term mental health issues, speaking about it live with a live streaming psychologist named Dr. K. His passing shook the Twitch community. Many creators speaking out about how much they loved and missed him. His last stream is a horrifying reminder that mental illness is a silent killer in which everyone and anyone can be affected. World's tough right now. Maybe maybe it's all uphill from here, though. I feel it. We'll see. I feel it, bro. I will right, we'll see you guys uh, either tomorrow or the next day. You guys get lonely, you should talk to each other maybe and find some friends to play games with many of you play games i feel like people are always too scared to meet new people uh try to meet others have a good night see you guys tomorrow or the next day damn bro i know a lot of speculation towards why he took his life is placed on the toxic yeah, communities around twitch and the online harassment and bullying that they dish out 
Recful was a pioneer for live streaming, even before it was a profitable revenue source, inventing live donations, which many streamers across many platforms use to this day. Rest in peace, bye. You created donations? Damn, bro, RB. Streamer kills girlfriend. December 3rd, 2020. Oh, yeah, Stanislav Ratishkinov content abused thermal to high warming, even as he realized that Valentina had passed away. In the distressing footage, he can be seen trying to revive her, calling out to her in desperation, Valentina her with plates, amongst other painful treatments. This yeah. horrific broadcast continued for two hours after her death even when paramedics arrived and pronounced her deceased. A friend of Valentina has spoken out, revealing that his live streams were filled with cruelty towards her, further highlighting the severity of the situation. Live shootings, May 14th, 2022. Peyton S. Gendron went live on Twitch to stream his helmet e 2 underscore says so Devin kidnaps autistic 14 year old child, Delta, in a playground. He was walking down the sidewalk to get to the bus stop to get to the short bus. We hope we find the autistic child before Devin does any harm. What time is it for you too? Is this the nigga that shot up the Walmart? Shooting up a store in Buffalo. Oh, was it Walmart? Bro, I don't remember, bro. I know he shot out a sign on Twitch, bro. USA. Before his arrest, the 18-year-old American neo-Nazi committed a heinous act by brutally murdering at least 10 people during his rampage at a committed a heinous act by brut <sighs> fucking weirdo brutally murdering at least 10 people during his rampage at a local buffalo supermarket his motive was driven by a disturbing desire to clean the streets of blacks Gendron entered the Topps friendly market with a camera and a gun. The Wait. niggas who are like this, like, I think they have, like, uh, like some type of, like, okay, I know, I don't want to sound crazy, but they got to be slow. Like, they can't be right in the head. Like, they got to have some type of mental, dis like, disability. No way or normal, a normal human being is, like, thinking like that. That's not normal, bro. That's some type of, you know what I'm saying? That's, and I don't understand where these niggas' parents like, how did you end up like that? Like, what was your parents doing for you? Like, your parents did like did not give a fuck about you at that point. Because this ain't 1939. We ain't in that time anymore. Like, I don't understand it. Gang, you're not a Nazi. Stop trying to be like that. You're a fucking loser. Hold on real quick. Nigga talking about something clearing the streets. Black people. This is, this is weird. Did your dildo fall off your desk? Okay, bro. Nigga, no. Wasting no time in opening fire once inside. Shockingly, he live streamed the entire massacre to his audience on Twitch. A witness recounted that the horrifying attack began with a black woman being shot, followed by a deacon and another woman. The shooter didn't show any remorse and continued to unleash his violence inside the store. The motive, as confirmed by police, was definitely racial. Look at this fucking Discord mod. Fucking Discord mod. Fat neck ass. Fucking dumb ass looking ass. Hatred. Gendron was reportedly in full military gear and had written all manner of racial slurs on his rifle. He has recently received life imprisonment. Yeah, Pre-recorded live stream alibis. December 18th, 2022. Stephen McCordy regular could know it was 50. His live stream was revealed plan by the man. Last one. Day 20. Live stream suicide. August 31st, 2020. Ronnie McNutt was a live streamer. Oh, uh, this one of the niggas shot him with the shot. R.P. this dude, bro. I've seen this. He was well known for his habit of rambling yeah. and engaging in arguments with his audience on Facebook Live. I've seen Covering this topics shit. ranging from theology to pop culture. On the night of August 31st, when he started a live broadcast, it became evident to viewers that something was off. Roughly 40 minutes into the stream, it was clear that the Iraq war veteran, who was feeling depressed and heavily intoxicated, just wasn't himself at the time. Tragically, during the live broadcast, Ronnie picked up a rifle, which misfired. Right. Despite pleas and calls from loved ones and the presence of police outside of his home, Ronnie chose to ignore them, and in a heartbreaking turn of events, fired the rifle one more time. As those who cared for him, 
Like, imagine you lost in the stream and nigga just shoot their self right in front of you. Like, damn, nigga. What if you had kids in the child? So, like, damn, nigga. Ch like, chill, bro. You couldn't do that shit all stream. Like, RP, you know. But that's just crazy. Leaving out on the internet. RP, bro. He got a little, damn. That's why you got to talk to people, bro. Like, that is, that, is, that is crazy. Why people making fun of him? People said, hey, let's, okay, don't do that. Don't do that. Do not do that. That's not funny, bro. He fought in Iraq. He had parties. Yeah, fuck on people. Yeah, facts. We'll see, watch. As I he couldn't imagine finding a warrior, me either, honestly. That gets pretty deep towards the last tier. I apologize for anyone that may have been disturbed by those, but these are stories that need to be told. This is a little different to my other videos that I've released as of recent, but I wanted to give it a shot because it looked like a lot of fun to do, and honestly, it really was. I really hope if you made it all the way to the end, you have thoroughly enjoyed the video, and if w you believe v, man. that I've earned it, uh -huh. a subscription and a like.